morning everybody and I just wanted to touch base with you all and just wanted really kind of to see how you're all doing um how are your energies um at this moment in time um I've noticed a lot of people around me at the moment are really struggling with their energies um and yesterday kind of brought to head with my, my youngest son um over the last few days he's been really struggling mentally um not being able to really kind of tell me how he's feeling but he knows that he's not feeling right and I took him out into the therapy room and his energies were all over the place and we did a lovely um, healing session with him which realigned all his energy centres and hopefully um, today seems a bit brighter he's just gone out with his enablers but I wanted to check in with you to see how you're doing um, I know like sort of at this moment in time we've like sort of talks about us being um, coming up to the 21st of June being like sort of all lockdowns and everything's going to be lifted um, but we're also being um, talked there's that undercurrent of fear still going on that you know these new variants are coming in and that sort of the 21st might not happen um, and with with us being more free is actually bringing more anxiety to people because we've been so constricted over this last year and especially with people who are already suffering with anxieties and depression this can actually um, multiply that feeling um, because we're actually being allowed out and you know that's what we've been in the confines of our homes for so long in that secure place um, people who do suffer with anxieties might find that these are going to be heightened in, in within the next few weeks. Um, and I, I was just wanting to share with you really kind of a couple of things that you can actually maybe help yourself um, to control your energies. Um, when we're living in that fear, we can't think clearly when our energies are so disruptive. And our energies can be disrupted with anything. So if we've been poorly, if we've had an argument, if we're not kind of feeling on top, our energy and our auric field can be disruptive. And that can have um, an effect on our physical body and our, and our mind and our mental um, well-being as well. So I just wanted to touch base with you just to give you a few tips of things that you could be doing for yourselves. Um, even if you're not like sort of... Um, what I would say spiritually aware in the spiritual way of um, being there are certain things that you can do to help you so a good one um, is like sort of it's all about being mindful as well and being in the present moment quite often our thoughts are like sort of worrying about what's going to be happening within the future or we're worrying about what's happened in the past when we're mindful we're tending to be in the present moment so things that you can do, like sort of, even like when you're washing the dishes, is just to be mindful of what you're doing. Take notice of what the temperature of the water is like. What does the, the bubbles of the fairy liquid feel like on your hands? It's bringing your awareness into what you're doing rather than having your awareness focused on something else. And quite often when we're doing the dishes, we tend to, our minds tend to wander. Um, so when you're doing the dishes today, I just want you to bring your attention into the feeling, the feeling of the, the soapiness of the water, the feeling of the temperature of the water. Watch as you're washing the dirt off of the dishes. Um, be mindful of how you're wiping them. Watch what you're doing. Telling yourself what you're doing. I am feeling this. I can feel the bubbles feel silky soft. The water is warm and tepid or the water might be hot or it might be cooling down. Another thing is yesterday I spent most of my day out in the garden because it's such a lovely, well, it's a lovely today as well. Um, I spent most of the day digging out the little garden that I've got here behind the window. Um, so I'm doing away with it, so I'm like sort of putting all the, digging all the soil out. Um, so actually getting your hands into the soil, into Mother Earth, really grounding. Um, if you can hear my fish pond, I've got um, a fish pond just outside the window and I quite often, if I'm feeling a bit anxious and that, I'll just go and sit and I'll, I'm lucky enough to have a fish pond with the water, but I'll go and sit and listen. Listen to the pouring of the water. If you can, get out into nature by a river. Just sit and watch the water as it ripples down over the stones. 
it's calming. We need things that are calming. Calming our thoughts, but calming our emotions. If you're at the beach, just close your eyes and allow your inner senses to become aware of the sounds, the smells around you. So quite often we say as well, like sort of when we're in that anxiety mode, is to notice find things that you can see. But when you do it, so like sort of as I'm, I'm looking at the screen here, I, I can see my view behind me. So for me, it's, I can see my flower pots in the garden. I can see my flowers in the room. I can see the orange of the flowers. I can see my geo. And then it's five things that you can smell. I can smell the fresh air or I can smell freshly cut grass. I can smell bacon being cooked. It's bringing your attention so I can. And then it's on to feeling. Notice what you're feeling. So we're looking and seeing and, and smelling our external world. But we also need to take notice of what our internal world is doing. So notice any pains, any discomforts that you might be feeling within your body. And if you do, like sort of for me sat here, I'm aware of my shoulder aching here. So you can take a deep breath in and breathe into that area just to loosen that muscle tone. When we're stressed, when we're anxious, we tend to hold our, our posture tight, even though we're, we're unaware of what we're doing. And that brings tension to the body, which then can cause muscle aches and pains, headaches. So bringing our attention to our internal world is just as important as our external world. We, we are the only ones that are in control of our internal world. We have no, no control of what goes on on and around us in the outside world. We only have control of what goes on within us. So please start taking aware. And another another good way of like sort of um, grounding your energy is really important because as I said before, like sort of at the moment, everybody's energies are all over the place. So a good one and a quick one that you can do is like sort of as soon as you get out of bed in the morning, before you even get up, put your feet on the floor, Sit on the edge of the bed, put your feet on the floor and just imagine from the soles of your feet roots growing down into the ground and asking that your energy be grounded to Mother Earth because she's the one that supports us all. She feeds us, she allows us to drink and if we don't look after ourselves and Mother Earth, how can we survive basically? Um, I've also noticed I did want to touch point with um, I have noticed like sort of um, while we're talking about energies over the last um, couple of weeks I've had um, clients coming to me and um, all the clients that have been coming to me that have been inoculated I'm noticing that I'm getting no reaction from the energy centres or their auric field it's almost as though they don't exist um and um for some of my clients they were previous clients before their inoculation um some of them are new clients to me so i haven't kind of got any gauge as to what their energies were doing before but the, my regular clients that have um had it um i know that their energies were flowing and then never um in my whole of my 20 plus years of working as a healer and an energy worker i've never had um, this kind of reaction before and I found that sort of just the general healing um, hasn't really had much effect and the only way that I've been able to reactivate their energy centres in the auric field is by um, activating their pressure points within their feet um, and that's kind of quite worrying to me um, that this this is happening you know what else what else are these inoculations doing if it can affect your energy like this, you might be feeling fine. But if our life force, if our energy isn't flowing for our body as it should do, that's going to have a detrimental effect on our physical bodies. So I just thought I'd um, share that information with you. Anyway, um, hope you're all doing well. And if 
any of you are having any issues, please feel free to contact me. I'll be more than happy to chat or even come for therapy. Have a wonderful sunny day. Bye.